The President, the President, Mesdames et Messieurs, veuillez vous asseoir. The Chamber is now back Nous reprenons l'audience. For our next proceedings, we will have the craft here for the with de our de testimonies or statements de lire of those witnesses who are de not summoned by the chamber. d'audition de témoins uh, convoqués à comparaître devant la chambre. Non convoqué se reprend l'interprète à comparaître devant la chambre. <laughs> Those statements are made before the investigators of the office of the co-investigating judges. Par les co-juges d'instruction, par les enquêteurs du bureau des co-juges d'instruction. The graphie Doge Perry. Je m'adresse au graphie Monsieur Doge Perry. You are now instructed to read the records of interview. Je vous of Ma Je vous demande de bien vouloir donner lecture du procès verbal d'audition du témoin Ma The document Sittim. number is B28-8. document qui figure à la cote D28, barre de fraction 8. D54. Puis nous allons euh, avoir le document D54. The graph here, document... The D28 slash document D28 bar de fraction 8. This is the written record of interview of the witness Mark Sittim, born in 1957. Mark Sittim. The record was made on the 30 November 2007 by the investigators of the Office of the Co-Investigating Judges of the Extraordinary Chamber in the Courts of Cambodia. Question answered. Moxitim, donc né en 1957. Pourriez-vous nous parler de, la, de votre situation familiale avant 1975 well Ma eat. famille était de classe moyenne Question. et aisée. Nous avions suffisamment à manger. The Question. That led you Quelle était la raison pour laquelle revolution? Vous avez été amené à entrer dans la révolution. Après, après le 17 avril, j'étais encore un enfant. Je ne savais pas encore comment m'habiller, comment écrire. On me demandait de porter de la nourriture à Ville Char. Ensuite, je suis entré dans l'unité des enfants deux mois plus tard. Le chef du district m'a emmené to the district for two nights ma and took me to Sala Lake Pram for two nights. De nuit au chef they took us in six Chinese trucks. The one who took us was Jan Samrain. After reaching Phnom Penh, they had me rest in Phnom Penh for about five months until the end of 75. Jusqu'à la Next, fin de 1975, ensuite, on m'a envoyé à Bonfrebeck pour couper des arbres, pour abattre des arbres et pour cultiver le riz dans la saison sèche, pour planter des légumes, pour apprendre la littérature en 1976. J'ai suivi un entraînement à Takmao, c'était en 1976, j'ai étudié les stratégie militaire et j'ai planté des légumes. Je ne me rappelle pas du nom de la personne qui m'a formé. J'ai étudié pour moi, puis moi j'ai appris à détecter des armes, à lancer des grenades et à détecter des mines. Une fois la formation terminée, je dois dire que je ne connais pas la personne qui a clôturé la formation. Après je suis allé à Pressa pour I don't remember who my leader was. I was there for three months. Next, I studied medicine for three months. I studied in front of the movie theater near that My dam was the instructor. Question. Did you ever see Dutch come to watch? Question. No. Avez-vous jamais vu d'autres venir en visite? How did you study medicine? Question. Comment avez-vous étudié 
Réponse, j'ai appris à examiner, Question. à étudier les médicaments Do et à you faire des know the names of those who studied Question, with you? connaissez-vous le nom des Response. gens qui étudiaient avec vous There was a certain Réponse, il y avait un certain personne dénommé Promsok qui était médecin. Après 1979, il est devenu très proche Now he is de Doug Chai. Il habite à Kbal Chai. Il s'agit là de son village natal. Question. Question. Do you know if any other Ça of the medics si are still alive? D'autres personnes parmi les membres du personnel soignant sont toujours Response. en vie. Réponse. There is one name il y a un qui s'appelle Don. Now at Plong Popo, il habite à la commune de Plong Popo, village de Samaki Menche. Il est handicapé et il est unijambiste. Et à ma question, il y a pas cette personne-là, réponse, il est un soignant de vie qui est un charme. C'était un Now simple soignant de l'hôpital de Kampong Trolak, district ouest de Kampong Trolak, à côté de l'ouest de Kampong Trolak. Les soignants qui étaient imprisonnés pendant deux jours quand les Vietnamiens étaient imprisonnés pendant deux jours au moment de la vie des Vietnamiens. Je ne sais pas s'ils sont vivants ou morts. Question. Respond. Que s'est-il arrivé après votre formation en médecine to study Making medication and stamping out pills. Potion medicinal et à confectionner des pilules. The one who assigned me to go there was Dam, and Dam was under the command of Dutch. Dans ce sens, s'appelait Dam. I studied there for eight to nine months in seventy-seven. J'y ai étudié pendant huit mois en soixante-dix-sept. Le formateur était Dam. Did you see Dutch or the senior leaders come to watch? Venir en no. visite à cet endroit-là. Réponse Question. non. Question. And after those eight months, que s'est-il passé après ces huit mois Response. Réponse. Next. I served the prisoners. Je suis allé travailler avec les prisonniers à Tolsang. Et je ne connaissais pas the one who took me there. Je ne connaissais pas la personne qui m'y a emmené. There were 15 of us, including the chairman and deputy chairman. There was another one who was a medic with me, named Ta. But I do not know if he is dead or alive. Question. Do you know the reason they arrested Tri? Question. Savez-vous pourquoi le dénommé Tri a été arrêté? I do not know the reason. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. As for who, the chairman of the medical team, ordinarily he was the person who issued medicine for me to dispense further. The medical unit where I worked was in front of S21. Question. The prisoners you treated. Les prisonniers que vous que vous soignez. What condition were they in? Dans quel état physique étaient-ils? After they had been interrogated, some prisoners had open wounds on their backs, and some had their nails pulled out. 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 Some had their nails qu'il fallait impérativement les guérir car l'interrogatoire n'était pas encore terminé. Pendant que je les soignais, j'en voyais certains qui mouraient. One, or two, or three in a day. Il y avait un mort par jour ou un tous les deux jours ou trois jours. C'était moi qui allais les enterrer dans les bâtiments hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison. Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte ou le long de l'enceinte de la prison? Question. Avez-vous déjà été confronté à des prisonniers qui étaient hors de l'enceinte Did you ever go to treat prisoners while they were being interrogated? Alors qu'ils étaient en train d'être interrogés. Response. 
Réponse. Never. Non, jamais. The majority La plupart were du temps, on stretchers and on brought les amenait sur des brancards jusqu'à mon lieu de travail. Question. Question. Did you ever treat Avez-vous jamais, prisoners avez-vous jamais whose soigné des prisonniers dont on avait prélevé le sang Response. Réponse. I just treated patients in the three buildings. Je me contentais de soigner I les prisonniers dans les trois outside. bâtiments. Je n'allais jamais à l'extérieur. Question. Question. Was there any sign that blood was being taken? Y avait-il des signes qui indiquaient Response. qu'on leur avait prélevé du sang Réponse. I treated patients whose blood J'ai, had been drawn. J'ai soigné des prisonniers dont on avait prélevé le sang. There were people le sang. whose blood had been drawn because the medical who, who was with my team told me. C'est Hoa, the prisoners whose blood had been drawn were pale. Les prisonniers dont on avait prélevé le sang étaient pâles. I saw pâle. about 30 to 40 prisoners Cela whose que blood voir, had been taken. Question. Where Question. did Question. they take the blood? Question. 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 Où est-ce qu'on prélevait Response. le sang? I do not know. Réponse. Je But ne sais I pas. Saw Mais bad blood bags thrown away near the concrete house I lived in. J'étais à côté d'une maison en dur euh, près de là où Did j'habitais. Did Dutch ever come to look at the place Question. where you were treated patients? Donc, on s'est rendu Response. sur le I never euh, saw lieu him. de soins, sur votre lieu de soins. I only saw him Réponse, non, je ne l'ai jamais vu. Je le meals. rencontrais uniquement au moment où Question. il allait à Did you know dîner. Did Dutch was Prison Question. Saviez-vous que Doug Response. était le directeur de la prison? Doug Réponse. Was the chairman Doug était le directeur qui supervisait l'ensemble y compris les soignants. Question. Tri did you Ro. ever meet Doug at the place you studied? Rencontré Doug à l'endroit où euh, étaient menées les Response. réunions des tutus et autocritiques. Réponse. Non, je ne l'y ai Only jamais the vu. Il y avait que the les uh, chefs and de companies des gave instructions et des and uh, medical qui chairman. Qui des instructions the medical chairman and the medical team made chef des once des weekly. Et le groupe des soignants, Question. Euh, une fois par semaine, Did you ever know the question. chairman of the defense team? Avez-vous connu le chef de l'unité de défense? The chairman of the defense team. était le chef de l'unité de défense. There was an interrogation team, but I did not know the team chairman. Je ne connaissais pas le chef. team, I did not know them. I just saw the vehicles come. Did you ever treat Vietnamese? Question. Avez-vous Response. soigné des Vietnamiens I Réponse. Never non. Treated any. Je n'en ai I jamais never soigné. Even saw any. Mais je n'en ai même But jamais as vu. For Chinese, yes. Mais pour ce qui est des Chinois, oui, j'en ai vu. Question. During treatment, Question. Did you see children or pregnant women? Avez-vous vu des enfants ou des femmes enceintes Réponse. Réponse. Ma sota. For the prisoners, midwives and children, they were not circled. They were placed in a large cell with the door tightly shut. Question. 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 During treatment, did you ever see Dutch come to give orders? Response. Réponse. I never saw Dutch come to give orders. Question. Question. Did you ever treat anyone who had been in the countryside with you or who had worked alongside you? Ou qui avait travaillé avec Response. Vous? Yes. Réponse, oui. They were arrested just two or three days before 79, but I never treated them. Je ne Question. les ai jamais soignés cependant. Did you ever see prisoners Question. whose blood had been drawn and who died for lack of timely treatment? On ne les avait pas soignés à temps. Response, I Réponse, do not know, je ne sais pas. because that Parce was a different specialty. Des domaines de spécialisation différents. Question. Through... Giving treatment, what types of torture did you see? Question. Quelle sorte de torture avez-vous pu constater 
au cours de votre travail de soins. So prisoners who had been interrogated Réponse using des prisonniers qui avaient socks. été euh, interrogés I et dans le cadre de leur interrogatoire avaient subi des électrochocs. C'était eux qui me l'avaient dit, je leur ai donné des, vit des, des vitamines 12 and B12 et B1. Question. Question. Did you think the medication and treatment were Pensez effective? Que les médecins, les médicaments et les soins general, étaient they were ineffective. Réponse en général, ils n'étaient pas efficaces, mais les médicaments anti-diarrhéiques marchaient pas mal. Why do you think the Khmer Rouge did not have you used rouges? French medication? On t'interdit et Response. vous n'utilisez pas les médicaments Because français. Réponse, parce que la plupart des médicaments français expired, qui étaient encore là étaient expirés. Never any et new il n'y a jamais eu in. de nouveaux médicaments. Question. During which period did you treat the greatest amount Question. of prisoners? À quel moment avez-vous soigné le plus grand nombre de prisonniers? Before the UN attacked Pendant and la guerre, avant l'attaque des Vietnamiens Question. et avant qu'ils n'arrivent. Was there anything else unusual which I did not ask about? There was nothing unusual. I provided treatment and had to provide them the treatment so that they would get well. But if they did not get well, they would take me away and kill me. That is what the medical chairman three and four told me. Question: Did any cadres come to give instructions two or three days before the Vietnamese came? No one gave instructions to anybody. We just scattered on our own. Question: Which year did you arrive back home? Question: En quelle année êtes-vous arrivé? Vous rentrez dans votre village. Nearly one year later. Environ un an plus tard. It was the transplanting season when I arrived. C'était la période du repiquage du riz. One copy of the written statement was provided to this witness. The interview was completed. And after it was read out aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign or place his thumbprint. Et le témoin y a posé sa signature. Document D54. This is the written record of confrontation done before the co-investigating judges of the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia, dated 29 February 2008, at 9:20 a.m. With the presence of the French counsel, Mr. Kassabut and Mr. Francois Roux. The accused, Kang Gek Yew, alias Doj, the witness, Hum Hoi, Prak Khan, Hum Hoi, Thi, Prak Khan, Kung Hai, Kung Mai, Nai, Van Nat, Mok Si Tim, Sao Met, who were sworn in pursuant to the internal rules of the extraordinary chambers in the court of Cambodia. Confrontation. Confrontation. Questions by co-investigating judges. Question des co-juges d'instruction. Did you witness the mass execution since in January 1979? Des exécutions massives en janvier 1979. Témoins, Sao Met, Mok Sitim, and Mom Nai. Et Mom Nai. We were not aware of them. Nous n'en étions pas conscients. Nous n'en avions pas connaissance. Question by co-investigating judge Marcel Le Monde. To witness Mark Sitim. Do you confirm your statement on 30 November 2007 regarding the drawing of blood? Response. Response. By Mark Sitim. I was a medic at S21, and I treated the sick. Question. 
I did not personally observe any blood drawing, de sang, but I saw prisoners whose blood had just been drawn and who were very pale. Très pâle. I also saw unused blood bags under the staircase. Questions by the question Marcel Le Monde. Mr. Sourti, do you still stand by your statement made on the 18th October 2007 regarding the drawing of blood of the victims? Whose names were included in the list of victims? Response. Sourti. Réponse. I confirmed my statement. De témoin Sourti, je confirme mes déclarations. Response by the charged person. Réponse de la personne mise en examen. I would like to ask a question to Sourti. How many blood bags did he see? Combien a-t-il vu de sacs de sang? Response by de poche de sang. Moxie Réponse Maybe du témoin Moxie Tim. Peut-être 30, 30 bags, ou 40 but I do not remember exactly. Mais je ne me souviens pas exactement. Question by Alex Bates. Question de Alex Bates. Does the charge person la personne mise en examen conteste-t-elle la déclaration de Prakkon en date du 25 septembre 2007 which stated that Blood was taken to be sent to 17 April Hospital and Monivong Hospital. Hospital Monivong. Response by the charged person. Réponse de la personne mise en examen. If that sort of blood taking was carried out, I do not think that blood bags were sent to Monivong Hospital, which was the Division 703 Hospital, or through the 17 April Hospital. The state hospital. Since S21 had its own hospital, 98, which was under Sunsen's control. Le contrôle de Sunsen. Response by witness Prakon. The doctors who practiced the drawing of blood gave me the information. Ces informations m'ont été données par les médecins qui procédaient au prélèvement de sang. Ils m'ont dit que c'était le poche qui était envoyé à l'hôpital du 17 avril et à l'hôpital de Monivong. Réponse du témoin Moxitim. Pour ma part, je n'étais pas au courant de l'envoi de poche de sang dans les hôpitaux. After having been read aloud and heard, the charged persons, the witnesses, and the civil parties had no objections and agreed to sign. Non pas d'objection et accepte de signer. Le président. Le président. After hearing. Après avoir entendu ainsi que le procès verbal de confrontation du témoin Mok Sitim, les coprocureurs Wants to have any observations to make regarding the statements of this witness, Mark Sitim. S'agissant des déclarations du témoignage du témoin Mark Sitim, le coprocureur cambodgien, has no observations to make regarding the statements of this witness. S'agissant des dépositions. Du témoin Mark Sitim, le président. The Civil Party Council. Je m'adresse au groupe des parties civiles. Do you have any observation to make regarding the two statements read by the question? The Civil Party lawyers have no observation. Mr. Werner, the group of parties civiles n'ont pas d'objection à faire. Je vous remercie. The President, the Defense Council. Do you have any observations to make regarding the statements read by the Greffier? Dépositions dont le Greffier vient de donner lecture. Merci à vous, Monsieur le Président.
regarding the statements, I observe that the medic at S21 and at Moxie Tim, who was a medic at S21 too, he confirmed clearly that there were six medics only at S21, and they were all male. And this is the observation by the Defense Council. The President, the International Defense Council, do you have any observation to make in addition to the one made by your colleague? En plus de celle précédemment faite par votre confrère. Ms. Kenizares, I have no extra observations to make in relation to the one that was made by my colleague. Thank you, Mr. President. The President. The Chamber now gives the opportunity to the accused to make his observations regarding the statements of the witness Moxie Tim. If you have any comments or observations to make, you may proceed. Mr. President, I have I would like to separate my observations into two parts. First, regarding the crime of drawing of blood at S21. This crime, as I clearly stated to the chamber already, the person who issued order was my superior, Sun Sen. It was carried out Et since S21 was under the supervision of NAT. However, it became more frequent during my chairmanship, and we already questioned regarding the total number of the prisoners whose blood had been drawn during the testimony by Brett and I said the total number of the prisoners whose blood had been drawn totaled to about 100. And regarding the small blood, as mentioned by Moxie Tim, surprised me. There were 30 to 40 bags of blood. I did not know the reason for the sport of those blood. Besides that, I do not have uh, anything to say regarding the blood dropping. And the second part, whether Moxie Tim was actually a member of S21, I am still undecided. It's hard for me to believe his statement to let me believe that he was a member of S21 because his statement is confusing. He stated that he was born in 1957 and after the 17 April 75, he did not know how to put his pants on. So it's contradicting. And for the Jews, I requested from Kampung Chinang, there were only 40 to 50 of them. There were not uh, up to 100 or so. And the third point, he only knew a few people around him. For the actual people from Kampung Chinang, they would know. Each other, but he did not know any of them or some other stuff at S21. So, in conclusion, I am still undecided to acknowledge that Moxie Tim was a member at S21 regarding the medic tree, as mentioned by Moxie Tim. He was not a chairman of the medical unit. He was a cham from Kampong Cham. And the other three was a former 703 division person. He lived at Ang Prekdot in Kampong. And this is my observation, Mr. President. 
m'arrêter là pour ce qui est de mes observations. The President, the President. Next. Mrs. Sakovati, the greffe of the trial chamber, is now instructed to read uh, the re written record of the interview of witness Tai Teng. Document with the 28/12. And uh, the interrogators would be substituted uh, with the term question and the short form of the names of the responder should be also replaced uh, by response so that uh, it is more convenient uh, for the parties of, uh, to the proceedings to be able to understand the document. Et ce pour la facilité de l'écoute par les parties. Thank you, Sam. La greffière. The greffier document D28-12. This is a, rec a written record of the interview of Tai Teng, revolutionary named Tai Teng, born in 1958. This record was done on the 17th of January 2008 at 10.50 a.m. by the investigator of the co-investigating judge's office. Question and answer. Question. Question. Please briefly describe Veuillez your personal history. Votre histoire personnelle avant 1970, Before 1970, at which school did you study? After the 1970 coup, coup, what did you do? Response. Réponse. When I was young, I studied at Koh Sak Chunlia Primary School in Chongkok Village. The Will Subdistrict, Saang District, Kandal Province. I studied up to grade 11, and when I started, I stayed with my parents. In 1973, I joined the Khmer Rouge Army as my cousin, time had introduced me. I was in the unit for 12 years old in Division 12 with the duties to carry rice sacks to supply the front of the field on National Road 2 near Kandalstan District. Question. Question. What did you do after que the 17th of April 1975? In which unit were you? Unité Response. Réponse. After the 17th April 1975, 1975, they had me work in the rice field near Obek Arm. At that time, I was in Battalion 31 of Division 12. After that, they had me stay at Chak Angrai and farm rice at Prek Samraun, at Bang Tumpun, and later at Stung Prek Knout. Around early 1978, they sent me to work at S21, and the chairman of the company, Nang, was the person who sent me there. Question. What duties did they have you do at S21? What is the name of the chairman of S21? Response. They had me guard on the outside of the S21 detention office, and I was stationed on the east side, about 200 to 300 meters from the prison building. The chairman of my team named Hoi, Him Hoi. The chairman of S21 was Deutsch, and the deputy was Hor. Question. 
Can you explain the routine of your guard duties? Comment Response. Euh, During the day, they had me farm rice Réponse west journée, of the Break Chirai Pagoda near Preysa. At night, they et had nuit, us guard euh, in 12 garde, correction, in two hour shifts until euh, morning. Heures, During the day, other teams were on guard duty. My team stayed in a house le east of Sewage Canal. Question. Did Hoi often hold meetings? What kind of meetings were they? Response. Once in a while, they held an instructional meeting. They instructed us to be vigilant and to guard prisoners not to let them escape. The team chairman was Lee. Who, who lived with me was named Tree. Tree. Question. Besides the guard duty there, de did the team chairman assign garde, que vous you to do any other duties? Response. Réponse. Besides guard duty garde, and rice farming, he did not assign me to do any other faire. work. Response. Réponse. A question. Did you ever see trucks Question, going in and coming out of Tuol Slang prison? Response. I saw trucks Réponse, oui, which were completely covered bâchés, coming in and going out. Later on, I learned that tard, those trucks carried prisoners. The incoming trucks transported prisoners to the detention office. The outgoing trucks transported prisoners, but I did not know where the prisoners were transported to. Question. Question. Did you hear that they took euh, people to be killed? Response. I knew that uh, they helped Réponse. people in prison and later euh, took them to be killed. Ensuite, But I did tuer, not know where they killed them. Question. Question. Did you ever see them arrest people and send them there? Pour les là? Response. Réponse. I did not know Je where they arrested people. Pas on les gens. I just saw them juste transport them inside. Pour les Question. À Question. At S21, S21 were there any arrests of personnel and cadres? Response. Réponse. I knew that oui, there were arrests uh, of people working there. De gens qui I cannot à remember the names, pas de leur nom, but there was no arrest groupe, in my team. A été Question. Question. Did you ever see Doc? Vu Response. Réponse. I saw him oui, walk vu in. En train de marcher, Sometimes he drove a motorbike, sur une moto, but I did not know where he went to or where he came from. Question. Question. Were you ever reassigned to work in other units? Ailleurs, dans une autre unité? Response. Réponse. I was transferred to farm rice rizière, at Preysar because I was implicated as my cousin, Bok who was Bok the chairman M, of the regiment in Division 703, was arrested. Oksavan and Oksarun, who both were his siblings and were medics at the hospital, were subsequently arrested. I got information about Oktam's arrest in a political education meeting where Doge announced Question. Did you know that they Question. took people to be killed at Chiang'e? Did you know how they killed them? Response. Réponse. I knew that oui, they took people to be killed at Chiang'e because I learned it from my team's members. Membres de mon équipe me dit. But I did not les know how They tortured or killed ou them. Tué, euh, ces gens, je ne le pas. Question. 
Juan you were guarding S21, which team sent people to be killed at Tung Aik? Response. I did not know. Although I worked at S21, the duties were assigned differently. Question. Did you know about the torture Question. on prisoners? De la torture What kind of tortures were there? Genre de torture Response. Était Réponse. I heard prisoners euh, scream out de of pain at the houses outside the prison compound where prison. they interrogated prisoners, prisoners and while I was euh, watering moi, vegetables. Le potager, I only okay. knew that Je the prisoners were beaten and that other prisoners received electrical d'autres that's all I know. Question, did you ever see them walk prisoners to be interrogated? What condition were the prisoners in? Response, I saw them walk prisoners with their hands handcuffed to their backs and they were blindfolded. After the interrogation, I saw them bring the prisoners back, but I did not know if the prisoners had wounds or not, since I saw them from a distance and only through quick glimpses. Question. Do you know Question. the names of interrogators? Response. Réponse. I don't know non, because they were in a separate unit. Question. 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 Did they ever hold a general meeting for the entire euh, office? Pour Response. No. Réponse. Only section non. meetings. Il y avait que des réunions par section. Question. Question. What did they have you do après at Fraser? What types of Quel people were sent there? And how many? Y avait -il de gens après ça? Response. Réponse. At Fraser, they had a farm rice, build dikes, and dig canals. Des et people who lived there were allegedly involved in moral issues and political dissent as their relatives were London soldiers, for instance. That place was a tempering site. There were about 200 people in total living there, both men and women. They were divided into groups of 20 to 25. Question. Question. Who was the chairman of Prasar? Response. Réponse. Hui was the chairman Hui. of Prasar. Question. Question. What were the work routines over there? Response. Le In the morning, I worked le matin, from dawn till 12 midi. noon and stopped for lunch. Ensuite, uh, After lunch, I continued repas, working repas, until 5 or six in the afternoon. After dinner, Après they held soir, instructional meetings for each group, groupe, educating hein, us to try and work hard. De nous At sur night, le travail, it was strictly dur. guarded. La nuit, they did not have us work at night because On they were afraid we would escape. Question. Question. What was the food ration? How many meals per day? Response. The food was insufficient. Rice was mixed with banana stems and papaya stems. There were two meals per day, at noon and in the evening. Sometimes we had gruel for one meal and rice for another. Question. Was there any torture inflicted on the people at Praisa? Response. No. But uh, they blamed those who worked, whose Work was slow and the sick for being lazy and it just threatened them. That's all. Question. How long did you live at Prasar until Phnom Penh fell? 
Avant la chute de Phnom Penh. Response. For about two months. Then Phnom Penh was liberated in 1979. One copy of the written statement was provided to this witness. After it was read aloud, the witness had no objections and agreed to sign or place his thumbprint. The president, uh, the graphier is now instructed to read the second record, the 50s last read. The graphier document the 50s last read. This is the written record of the interview of witness Tai Teng, revolutionary name Di Teng, born in 1958. This record was done on the 19th of February 2008 at 10 a.m. by the investigator of the co-investigating judge's office of the extraordinary chambers in the courts of Cambodia. Question and answer. Question. Question. During which year did they send you from S21 to go to stay at Chiang Ek? How many people were sent with you and what were their jobs? Response. I don't remember the year clearly. It was probably about 1978. They sent 10 people at that time. There was no one else at Chiang Ek. Just my team. At that time, they had my team dig pits. Each pit was a square of three meters on each side and about two meters deep. The pits were dug during the daytime, dug manually with holes and baskets to carry the dirt. Question, who instructed you, your team, to dig the pits? Response, we instructed the digging of those pits. Only after we had instructions to dig did my team begin to do it. Sometimes they told us to dig two or three pits in a period of three or four days. Each pit could be completely dug in about two or three days, depending on the condition of the ground, soft or hard. Question. Please describe the transport of prisoners from S21 to Chiang What? did they do to them before they killed them? Response. From what I saw, they transported prisoners from S21 with Srim as the driver and with Hui and his team coming along in the trucks each time. The transport was at night, at about 7 o'clock. There were about 20 prisoners in each truck. When they arrived, they let the prisoners down from the trucks and put them in a room in a wooden house which had an electric generator inside. Next, they let the prisoners one at a time to be killed at the pits, which were about 100 meters from their town. The team that led the prisoners to be killed was composed of Sarim and two or three others whose names I did not know. The team came along with the trucks that had transported the prisoners. As for me and my team, we gathered and we counted the prisoners as they were brought in and taken to be killed. Question. Were the prisoners brought to Chiang Ai, handcuffed and blindfolded? Response. The prisoners were handcuffed and blindfolded since they left to slang. Question. Can you please describe the killing methods which you saw at that time? Response. First, 
The sad about one meter from the edge of the pit. S'asseoir à un mètre de la fosse environ. They had two or three sit beside one another and they used a water pipe to strike the base of their necks. When the prisoners fell over, they removed the handcuffs. Then they also used knives to finish killing them. But I don't know if they cut open their bellies or cut their throats. I just saw that after the killings, they took away palm leaf blades stained with blood to wash clean. They used two kerosene lanterns near the pits for lights. Did the prisoners ever scream when they were being killed? Respond. When they killed prisoners, my team was on guard in the rear, about a hundred meters away, defending against prisoners fleeing and escaping. I never heard prisoners scream. I just heard the sounds of the falling blows. Un bruit qui fait Question. Pou -pou. Your function was to be responsible for counting the prisoners de, de, before they were taken to be killed. In order to know that the prisoners had actually died, you would have to be nearby to know that. Would you not? Can you clarify this point? When they took the prisoners from the house, I stood at the door and counted the number of prisoners at that time. After they had been killed, they had my team pull the dirt back to cover up the pits. Question. When your team covered the pits, did you see that those who had been killed had had their throats cut or their bellies cut open? Response. I did not see clearly because it was at night time, but I could see blood at the edges of the pits. Question. Question. How many bodies were in each pit? And each time your team covered them, what was the highest number of pits used? Response. Each pit had more than 10 bodies, and the highest number of pits was three. Each time they killed, ordinarily, there were just one or two pits. Question. Question. Were there children and women among the prisoners killed at Chen There were no children, just men and women. Question. Can you explain how in one pit there were only scalps of children? Response. I do not know. I never saw child prisoners come there. Question. At that time, were there any prisoners of war, Thai, Vietnamese, and other foreigners? Response. There were none. There were only Cambodians. Question. Question. Did you ever see Deutsch at Chiang Ai? Response. No, no, I never saw ne him. Pas vu. I knew he was responsible je for S21, but I did not interne, know him clearly. Even he Et had si gone to Chiang I would not have recognized ne him. Pas Question. Question. Did you ever know anyone named Hoare? Response. Yes. Oui. I knew him je connu because he went to Chiang Ai twice. Question. When he went to Chiang Mai, did he give you instructions? Quand il était à Chiang Mai, qu'est-ce qu'il vous a donné des instructions? Réponse. Il ne m'a jamais parlé à moi. Je me donnais des instructions à moi directement. Il a parlé à Hoi. Et Hoi m'a donné des instructions en tour. 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 
Did any other leaders come to Chiang Kai? 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 It varies. Sometimes two or three times a month. Question: Were you and your team stationed at Chiang Kai until the fall of Phnom Penh, or what? Response: No. I was moved to Presor two months prior to 7 of January 1979, before the day Phnom Penh fell. Question. Did you ever see him, Hoi, personally kill prisoners, and were you ever there when that happened? How do you understand this? Response: No, I never saw that. Question: But him, Hoi, said that he killed prisoners at Chiang Kai. Response: No. I don't know about that. Je n'en sais rien. But if him Hoi said Mais that, si Hoi l'a dit, that was up to him. As for me, I do not know. I swear that I am telling only the truth. Moi, je ne sais pas. Question: What was him Hoi's attitude Question. when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him Hoi's attitude when you saw him? Question: What was him I'd estimate there were only about 20 to 30 pits. I cannot remember clearly, and that was not recorded. Question. When you first arrived at Chiang Kai, did you recognize any freshly dug pits there? Dug before you had arrived. Response: I never saw any fresh grave pits from before. There were only two or three Chinese graves remaining from earlier times. Question: Had that place been a burial site before? Response: I don't know, but I saw just three graves near one another. Question. Question. Among those in the Parmi team who lived with you at Chiang Kai, can you remember their names? And where are they living? Response. I can only remember one. Chuan. Aside from him, I have forgotten them all. I don't know even Chuan is dead or alive, and I don't know what district he lived in. Question. What were your feelings while you lived at Chiang Kai? Response. While I was there, I was seriously worried. I did not understand what would happen to me in the future. At that time, it was impossible not to obey them. It could be compared to living with tigers. Question: Among the prisoners killed at Chiang Kai, did you ever encounter anyone you had known from before? Response: I never met anyone I knew. The original. Or a copy of the written statement was provided to this witness. This interview was completed and read out. The witness had no objections and agreed to sign. The president, after having heard the statements read out by the greffier in relation to the statement of Toi Teng. Both documents, D28 
slash 12 and d50 slash 3 do the co-prosecutors wish to make any observation in relation to the statement? Ces deux procès verbaux. Co-prosecutor. The prosecution does not have any observations or comments to be made regarding these two statements. The president and the civil party council. Do you have any observations to make regarding the content of the two statements of witness of Toy Day as read out by the graph here? Thank you, Mr. President. I have some observations regarding the two statements. It is noted that the statement of Toy Teng is clear that he was a staff member of S21, that he, that he has heard, has seen and knew regarding the prisoners who were seriously tortured before they were executed. And particularly, he, he, he and his team was sent to work at the killing fields at Chung A, and that he dug pits and buried the dead bodies. Also, he knew the method of the execution of those prisoners. So these testimonies are clear that the torture and execution existed, as stated in his statement. Thank you. The defense counsel, says the president, do you have any observations to make regarding the statements, two statements as read out by the graphier? Thank you, Mr. President. I agree to the observations made by Mr. Hong Kong Soon that this witness clearly stated in his statements, particularly this witness also provided additional information that he said he never saw the accused present at Chiang the chamber would like now to give the opportunity to the accused to make his observations regarding the testimony of the witness Toy Teng as read out by the graph here. The, I notice the presence of the international co-prosecutor. You may proceed. Your Honours, I don't wish to intervene, Monsieur but just Monsieur for your uh, consideration, uh, my learned friends on the defence may be re requested to clearly indicate whether they do not oppose the reading of this statement and not calling the witness in this court. I am requesting this, Your Honour, in light of Rule 84.1 of the Internal Rules, which clearly says that the accused has an absolute right to summon a witness whom he did not have an opportunity to examine during the pretrial stage. In the light of this Rule 84.1, I'd request your honours may clearly request an observation from the defence that they do not oppose not calling this witness in the court. This is my respectful submission. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honours. I do not really understand uh, your submission, Mr. International Co-Prosecutor. Can you state again and make it understandable, especially to make the chairman of this chamber understand the intention of your submission? And you shall provide us the grounds and the decisions 
for not summoning the witness and that decision relies solely on the discretion of the chamber. La décision de citer un témoin comparé tout le monde. Yeah, I apologize if there was a lack of clarity in my submission. My submission is this. I am not questioning with greatest respect your honor's decision not to call this witness in the court. Because your honors are entertaining observations from the parties, I am most respectfully requesting this chamber to seek an observation from the defense that they do not oppose the calling of this witness in the court. I am requesting that in the light of Rule 84.1, Your Honor. Rule 84.1, if I may have the permission to read, says that the accused shall have the absolute right to summon a witness against him whom the accused had no opportunity to examine during the pretrial stage. Now, clearly, the accused did not have an opportunity to examine this witness at the pretrial stage. The accused is being asked to make an observation about this witness. Our only respectful submission is, for the purposes of clarity of record and for the purposes that there is no subsequent challenge under 84.1, the accused may be made to observe that he does not oppose the calling of this witness, not calling this witness in the court. I hope I have clarified I shall be able to assist my uh, uh, Your Honours if there is uh, still lack of clarity in my observations. The President, Judge Lavergne, you may. Monsieur le Juge Lavergne, je vous en prie. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Je pense que cette question a déjà été abordée à plusieurs reprises. La première fois, nous l'avons abordée lors de la réunion de mise en état. Nous avons discuté de l'établissement de la liste des témoins. Et nous avons, à cette occasion, dit que nous envisagions de retirer un certain nombre de témoins de la liste, dont celui dont nous voulons donner lecture du témoignage. Et à cette occasion, la défense, semble-t-il, a clairement indiqué qu'elle acceptait de renoncer à la comparution du dit témoin à l'audience, ce qui ne veut pas dire qu'elle renonçait à faire des observations sur le contenu des déclarations. Nous avons également à nouveau, me semble-t-il, ces derniers jours, And again, évoqué these past cette question, c'était, euh, je crois, la semaine was, dernière, week, et nous avons eu à nouveau confirmation de la défense de ce qu'elle renonçait à faire venir le témoin à l'audience. Donc, je ne comprends pas très bien quel est le sens de la requête aujourd'hui présentée par les, les procureurs. Je pense que s'il y a une renonciation, elle s'entend évidemment au vu de l'ensemble des règles qui sont contenues dans le règlement intérieur. Et je ne peux pas imaginer que ces règles aient été ignorées par les avocats de la défense. These rules were disregarded by the uh, Defense Council. Your Honours, with that clarification, I have no further objection. Thank you. Pour bien préciser les choses, je n'ai pas d'autres um, objections à faire. The President. President. The Chamber rejects the observations the made by the International Co-Prosecutor, and this is the the decision of the observation of the defense counsel and they did not object the statements or the decision made by the chamber not to summon the witness Toitain to present before this chamber. And the defense counsel already made the observation après ses observations concernant la déposition de ce témoin. The accused is now given an opportunity to make his observation à présenter ses observations. The statements and content of the witness story as read out by the contenu des dépositions dont la greffière a donné lecture. Monsieur l'accusé, je vous en prie.
the accused, Mr. Accusé, President. Monsieur le Président. Before 7 January 1979, I never knew the face of Toy Tang. When I met him, it was when the co-investigating judges sent me to Jail 8 for the reconstruction. And that was the time I knew Comrade Tain was a cousin of Comrade Taim and Sarun. These two were in the regiment, and after their cousins were arrested, arrested Toi Tain was sent from the special force to station at Chiang Ai. From my recollections, there were four of them, and they were responsible for digging the pits and bury the pits and guard the ground. Therefore, Toi Tain was Tain indeed a member of a 21 staff. I do not deny Je ne pas this. Cela. And the content of his statements, I agreed in je principle. Que je suis this is my observation, uh, Mr. President. Mon accord de principe. Telles sont mes observations, the Monsieur President, Président. now it is time for lunch break. Le nous à de la the pause Chamber déjeuner. will break for lunch and it will resume this afternoon starting from 1.30 p.m. The scheduling for this afternoon proceedings is programme, to continue reading the statements of the witnesses who are decided by the chamber témoins. not to provide testimony before this Dont chamber. chamber Security guards take the accused back to the detention enceinte. facility and Je bring him back before 1.30 p.m. The hearing is adjourned. All right, the graffier. L'audience est levée. Mesdames et messieurs, levez-vous, dit la greffière.